From north to south, the long coastline of Japan cultivates diverse local lifestyles reflecting their unique geographic conditions. People live in harmony with the sea by combining their traditional wisdom with scientific knowledge. We call these coastal areas, where the sea and human beings are intimately connected, Satomi. Osamu Matsuda, Professor Emeritus at Hiroshima University and one of the leading experts in Satomi, explains the term. ま、え、それに対してもう少しその人間が海と関わりながらですね、え、豊かな海を、ま、いろんな生物が住めて、お魚も利用できると。ま、そういう海を取り戻していこうというような。ま、昔の豊かな海がイメージにありますが、それをま、新し
のなれば産卵もするからそういうのを残すのに、うん、切り上げそれこそ終了時期をどんどん早めたねあの頃は腹水子なるから、うん、そういうのが多く取れる場所を主にやっぱり金魚にした方がいいんじゃないかということでそして値段的にももう水子なれば価値も下がるししたらそれは、うん、のあそこは網ささない方がいいんじゃないかということで。部会で決めねスケソ部会っていうのはあるもんだからそういうところで決めてそしたらここを筋力にしこっちまでねそれは毎年実施しているはずだ To improve resource management there has also been an effort to reduce the number of fishing boats In 1988 there were 193 boats with walleye pollock fishing rights Now there are 83この量だら本当にまあ間はな漁師も食ってがいないからもうどんどんどんどんやっぱりやめる船がいると思うんだけどやっぱり寂しいよね本当に。The walleye pollock fishers began a cooperative system in which five boats form a group with one boat suspended from fishing at a time. This approach aims to manage natural resources in a sustainable way while also reducing operating costs. Even though the number of walleye pollock fishers has decreased, Junji Kawakami took over from his father to become the captain of the boat Ebisumaru. まあまあ、今日見た感じなら身はガラガラ何も魚なんてかかってないんだけどそして料金の時だからもう網いっぱいもう魚がかかってきててね船いっぱいもう膝隠れる膝上ぐらいまで魚って感じでしたよね昔は俺が漁師やった何年目かな21年経つんだけど漁師やった12年はそういう感じだったんだけど徐々に徐々に減ってきましたよね流氷来ると魚も一緒に来るってよく言ってたんですけどね最近はもう流氷来たらもう泥しか網にかかってないというか魚もいないですね将来的には厳しいと思うけどね厳しいんだろうけど取れてほしいですね魚をたくさんどうなっていくのかわかんないですけど昔みたいにやっぱりいっぱい魚取れるのだら嬉しいですよね。As the number of walleye pollock decreases, fishers are embracing different ways to manage resources in the hope of regaining the bountiful catches they once enjoyed. Despite the decline of walleye pollock, the sea around Daosu is still a bountiful fishing ground. The year-round catch includes not only walleye pollock, but also flounder, atka mackerel, salmon, and squid, proudly producing some of Hokkaido's largest hauls. The walleye pollock gillnetters are not the only ones in Daosu working to protect resources from total depletion. Uni mo ne, moto wa ne, ano, ichinichi no toru suri mo namo kimatte nakatta nsu. Jibun de ute shidai de. 要は何もでも資源の豊富な頃はそれでよかったんですけど今これ何年かで結局昆布との兼ね合いがあって天然昆布あんまりこうウニを増やしちゃうと天然昆布が食われ食べ過ぎちゃうのでその辺の兼ね合いがあって今ちょっと資源的に少ないんですはっきり言って元よりはね。一、うん、日の取る数量を今50キロかもしれないに決めて、まあ、7十4 5世紀創業して当たってますけど。そうやって決めて創業してます。もう創業時間時間も決めてますけどね。金漁は7月1日から8、9月いっぱいですね。金漁。7月からやっぱり産卵時期なんですよ。ウニもやはり。と産卵時期のものを取っちゃうと結局はね、子孫を残すウニを取ってしまうことになるんで、次の世代のウニがなくなると結局はそれを取り上げちゃうことでやっぱり資源なくなっちゃう。In addition to local and national government regulations, 
fishery businesses in each region have established strict protocols that determine the fishing season, fishing and harvesting times, fishing grounds, as well as the types and size of fish and shellfish that are allowed to be harvested. In Laosu, many people make their living from the sea. Some have quit fishing but maintain their connection with the sea. Building on their marine knowledge, many have taken on jobs related to ecotourism. Masato Hasegawa, captain of the tourist boat Evergreen, is one such person. He was born into a family of walleye pollock fishers and kelp harvesters. ま、最初から陸の仕事は考えてなかったから。ま、川に突っ込んでくる。このラウスに漁民がいなくなったら俺たちの観光も思われた。結局あの鯨とかシャチ来るでしょ。食物連鎖のつながりだから。そうでしょ。魚がいなくなったらそれを追うものもいなくなる。ね、鯨もいなくな
Mr. Kido is a set net fisher on Notojima, an islet in Nanao Bay. Over the years, he has developed innovative methods of resource management. あの、自分の中であの、残ったね。なぜかというと、漁師が取っていて、その資源が全く取れなくなったっていう。結局漁師ってものは結局取って行くずっとどこまで行かないと気がつかないっていう。その見返りってものはすごい、じゃあどうや
Thus, when Mr. Kido took over the helm from his father's boat, he also inherited the family fishing rights. Traditionally, coastal people were seasonal fishers and farmers in Japan. Mr. Kido continues this tradition of subsistence, growing rice and vegetables on land passed down from his ancestors and harvesting fish from customary fishing grounds. Technology has changed set net fishing on the bay. Boats are no longer wooden rowboats but engine powered. Before, nets were pulled in by hand. Now, larger nets are lifted by machines. With the advance of technology, trap nets have been designed to catch more fish. Realizing the potential negative impacts on marine life, efforts are now being made by set net fishers in Nanao Bay to reduce the length of fishing seasons, place bans on vulnerable fishing grounds, and recently to enforce regulations on fish sizes and allowable daily catches. Though some regulations are new, many are based on the resource use traditions passed on through customary rights. あの、Life on the coast is often determined by how the community utilizes the resources of their local sea. With daily life centered around nature, rules are set and maintained among community members who share the commons. This is why some communities limit the use of modern technology in order to sustain a healthy fishing environment. This high-pitched sound is called isobue, which means sea whistle. Ama divers make this sound when they breathe between dives. Through the ages, an occupation called ama has existed along the coast of Japan. Those who work as ama free dive to catch seafood and collect seaweed. At Hegora Island, 50 kilometers offshore from Wajima City in Ishikawa Prefecture, there are still many Ama divers. From the Edo to the Showa period, residents of Ama Town in Wajima City went to Hegora Island from July to September to work there for the diving season. The movement from the mainland to Hegora Island during the summer continues today. Some choose not to reside on the island and commute daily. Until around 1935, they celebrated with festive red rice when a girl was born. The birth of a girl means the continuance of the family business of Ama. ロークイティタネ機械でないの。船で
ここやぞ来たぞってこうして箱眼鏡で見たあこんな浅いとこかと思ってねこの時はまだほら海は透明やろ今は全然曇ってわからんけど昔は綺麗やった二十五メーター行ってもそこは綺麗に見える上で箱眼鏡でアワビにつけた浅いなと思ったよ潜っといざ潜ったらなかなかわけにいかんこれ書いて書いて半日心臓ドキドキしてただ半日入ったらね慣れてしもったあほんで大丈夫やそれからずっとあの沖の方がね私あのあれになってしまって魅力通り疲れてほとんど沖で暮らしたもん。アマ has a long history. The word アマ appears in Man Yoshu, the oldest Japanese anthology of poetry. Compiled in 750. How have the Ama been able to practice sustainable fishing for such a long time? They have determined and set the fishing season, fishing hours, and prohibited areas. They have also discussed whether to use new tools. They have been aware that things that enable them to catch more fish could lead to the depletion of resources. So they have made rules and continue to try to ensure that the rules are respected in the community. In the Meiji era, diving goggles were introduced, and in 1964 the Ama began using wetsuits. They first discussed whether to use these new tools and how the new tools might affect their fishing practices. Those who dove wearing only a loincloth when they were young now wear wetsuits and diving masks. When they come back from fishing, they check to see if they have taken any undersized horned turban, which is a type of sea snail. Any that are too small must be thrown back. Everyone rides bicycles to the fish market. There are only two cars on the island, one for garbage collection and the other for emergencies. This is one of the rules set by the community. ランカクスタニアも持続できるので、規制というものは必ず付きまとうわけです。一つのコミュニティで申し合わせたことが守られてるということなんですよ。ね、例えばもう漁期にしてもアービーと海禁は7月の1日ですね。そして時間も限られて
からそこを煮めたぐらいになると冷たいの。うん。でペッてこうて体震えるくらいスーツ着とっても。ほいけ今はね温暖化やさけ全然冷たいちゅうことない。ほんだけ水分が違うんで物がおらんやろ。食べる海藻類がいないやろ。Ama divers dive four hours a day if the weather allows them. Japan Meteorological Agency data confirms what the Ama say, showing that in the last 100 years, the average sea temperature in the Sea of Japan rose 1.68 degrees Celsius. Abalone live in a rocky area intersected by the sea currents. The warmer temperatures may have affected the growth of the seaweed on which the abalone feed. There is no scientific data to explain the drop off in the abalone catch. However, many ama divers mention the changing ocean environment. The islanders decide as a community on the areas where fishing is prohibited and on Ocean Cleaning Day in order to prevent resource depletion. We don't know what's going to happen. It's up to nature, one Amma said. The islanders live close to nature and they have strong faith in nature and the ocean. Hegora Island is only five kilometers long. On such a small island, there are seven Shinto shrines and many altars. This is the first day of the Wajima Grand Festival. Today, the residents of Ama Town celebrate this year's good harvest and pray for the next year. This festival is based on the story that a female deity from Hegora visits to see the male deity in Wajima. Men dress up as women. And they go into the ocean with the Mikoshi, a portable shrine. Maybe they pray that the sea whistle never stops and that the Ama practice lasts. The oldest working Ama on the island is 92 years old. For them, diving is not mere work. But something they feel driven to do. They have spent hundreds of thousands of hours in the ocean. It's an important part of their lives. Will this ancient practice continue? What is she? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. 元気で来れる間はやっぱ潜るわね。潜ったらなるわい、ね。でもこれは好きでないとできない仕事だから、今日の仕事はここからここまでみたいなそういう仕事じゃないし、やっぱ自分が好きでないと海には入れない、たまにはなれないとか、まあ長く<笑>この職業を続けられたらいいかなっていう感じ。<笑>戦後の日本の高度経済成長の頃にですね、えー、まあ産業とか開発が優先になって割合その身近な海がですね、えー、埋め立てられたりあるいはその陸からのいろんな排水で汚染したりということが日本全国で、えー、起きました特に里見にふさわしい内湾的なところとかですね湾の奥のようなところは非常に汚れてそれからいろいろなまあ生物がだんだん少なくなってお魚も取れなくなったと、まあ、そういうようなことが日本全国で起きたわけですよね。Ago Bay, located in the city of Shima, is an enclosed sea that has a ria, or so called sawtooth coastline, a deeply indented corrugated coastline. 
often attributed to the bay's tranquility, mild climate, and the efforts of innovators who understood the bay's waters, the world's first semi-spherical cultured pearl was created here in 1893. Since then, this region has been known as the homeland of pearls. あの、そう綺麗な、あ、海なんですけども、私どもあの、2003年から5年間 え、in 1960, the total fish catch of Ago Bay exceeded 600 metric tons. It declined dramatically after 1965. A number of factors have driven this. Among them is the degradation of the bay marine environment by industrial land activities. Local fishers switching from low-impact traditional fishing to intensive pearl farming increased pressures on the bay. Overproduction of pearls contributed to degradation of bay waters, leading to poor quality pearls. The pearl industry declined into an economic slump. In the summer of 2002, the entire Ago Bay suffered a large-scale state of reduced dissolved oxygen content, and in the inner bay, many breeds of sea life were destroyed including the Akoya oyster, the oyster used to cultivate pearls. Although Ago Bay originally provided a suitable environment for nurturing pearls, today the pearl farming industry there faces hard times. Mr. Harajo has a pearl cultivating business in Ago Bay that has been in his family for three generations. ずっとやってるもんですから。回一個一個全部個性があるわけですから、一つ一つ触る機会があればやっぱり一個一個見ていかないとどういう回で自分が仕事をしてるのかっていうのがやっぱり把握できないと仕事にならないですし、今年使う
海自体にそ,のそれだけの力がないと回復しないんですよ。そこに人が住まなくなるのが一番環境に優しいと何もしないのが一番環境に優しいと思いました。でもそれじゃあ今度ね自分たちはどこで生活するのとで人間が生活する産業活動をするということは必ず環境に負荷かけるわけですしで水産業は増して他の仕事以上に環境に負荷かけるわけですからじゃあこの仕事を持続可能なものにしていこうと思うとやっぱり自分たちが率先してその環境っていう問題に取り組んでいかないどんな手法でもいいんですよ。取り組んでいかないとその持続可能な水産業というのはもうこれ成り立たないと思います。In Shima City, multi-stakeholder action is taking shape. Increased environmental awareness among pearl farmers, government officials, researchers, and the general population is growing, and they are joining in collective action to protect their local waters. 水産業、それから観光業あっての、あのー、そうアゴアンだと思っているのでいろんな生き物そしていろんな形で人がこう海から恵みをもらえるっていうのが僕は一つのやっぱり目標だと思うんですけどそれがこう持続的に続いていくために、まあ、こういう干潟再生がその一つのこう鍵になっていくんじゃないのかなというふうに思っています。One of the efforts in the Ago Bay restoration project is to recover the tidal flats that had once been turned into farmland. But are no longer being used and instead are now deserted barren land. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to それを開けるだけで中と外の水の行き来がすごくスムーズになって徐々にですけども中川が改善されて生き物が増えてくるっていうようなやり方になっています514箇所こういう場所がありますで今これ試験的に1個しかできてないわけですけどもまだ513箇所あるってことなんで、まあ、この部分をまああのできるだけちょっとずつでもいいんであの再生していくことがまあ目標になっています。When the restoration project for the tidal flats began in 2009, only six different types of life forms were found. Just one year later, that number has grown to more than 20. ここは鳥が休みに来てますね。カモみたいなのが多くなってきてて、それはなんかあのカモとかサギが多いのはこういう中に生き物がいるからそういうのをついばみに来てるのかなと思うんです。だんだんこう食物連鎖のこう三ピラミッドが大きくなってるみたいな感じですかね。この干潟っていうのはもう一度埋め立てられたらその土地の所有者の方が見えますなのでその所有者の方が本当に干潟の大切さみたいなのをやっぱり実感してもらわないとこういう再生っていうのが進んでいかないと私は思っているのでなるだけその定期的にこういう観察会だとか自分らで再生活動をしたりとかするのにこう参加してもらってそれでそこからアサリが取れたりだとかいろんなものが取れてこういう恵みがあるんだよっていうのをこう実感してもらおうと地元の人に実感してもらおうっていうふうな形であの定期的にこう観察会とかそういう再生活動をやっています。Another significant pillar of the Ago Bay restoration project is the environmental monitoring system of Ago Bay. Automatic environmental monitoring systems have been set up in two locations inside the bay, and the condition of the bay can now be viewed from personal computers and cell phones anytime, anywhere. The monitoring sensors automatically measure water temperature, salt content, oxygen saturation. Chlorophyll and turbidity of the water in the bay every hour. This kind of data is essential for pearl farming and is used by many pearl farmers. The monitoring of the water is a scientific result. It is not just to reduce the water quality, but to bring it back to the natural sea. It is not just to reduce the water quality, but to bring it back to the natural sea. It is not just to reduce the water 水産物が利用できるか、まあ、持続的にですけどね、まあ、そういうようなことを、まあ、求めながら研究とそれからいろんな事業がリンクして進んでいけばというような形だと思いますけど。
Every year from May to July is the seeding time for pearl breeders. The Akoya oysters are surgically implanted with a nucleus that will later become a pearl. The seeded oysters are placed inside baskets hung from rafts and carefully nurtured until the pearls form. Since significant fluctuations in temperature can affect the health of the seeded oysters, temperature and other water conditions are monitored. いま Ago Bay is not alone. Landfill projects and deteriorating water quality have increased in many other regions throughout Japan. Because of these changes in the environment, sea life has been deprived of its spawning grounds and places for nurturing offspring. For human beings to have sustainable access to marine resources, the creatures of the sea must be able to reproduce, to bear and nurture new offspring. Eelgrass beds are spawning grounds for marine life and a habitat for small creatures where they can hide from predators. It's because of this protective nurturing function that they are referred to as the cradle of the sea. There is a community where fishers have initiated efforts to restore the eelgrass beds that have fallen into serious decline. The town of Hinase in Okayama looks out over the Seto Inland Sea, the largest enclosed sea in Japan. Since ancient times, fishing has always been very active in this community, and it was named Hinase, the town of a thousand fisheries. Its unique character is defined by the many islands of various size that spread across the sea and the intricate geography of its coastline. Oyster breeding is just one of the many ways people make their living from the sea here. About 200 households are involved in oyster farming, drag netting and pound net fishing. In Hinase, oysters are sold in a unique way called ochigaki, or fallen oysters. The drag net fishers sell the fallen oysters that they gather from the sea floor during the low catch winter season, boosting their income while helping to clean the sea floor. This benefits both the fishers and the sea. ゼロここらの人はあの、
Hinase is the birthplace of a unique compact trap net called Tsuboami pound net, or the Bizen pound net. The history of this type of pound net fishing begins here, and it has since spread throughout the nation. The ecology of Seto Inland Sea suffered great damage from coastal development that took place during the high growth period between 1950 and 1980. When natural habitats such as tidal flats and eel grass beds were destroyed, fishing hauls dropped radically and the entire coast was significantly impacted. あ、子供たちが育つ場、あ、ま、いわゆるゆりかごが必要なわけですね。そういうのでいろんなあの魚介類を調べると結構そのモバとかですね。それから干潟、浅場っていうのはところが重要なそういう産卵場ですとか子供
the efforts to restore eelgrass beds started by the pound net fishers were soon joined by oyster farmers and dragnet fishers. And this year, some high school students also participated in the spring seed collecting activities. Pound net fishers are called the guardians of the shore. They are the first to notice changes in the marine environment and serve to protect it. In recent years, however, there has been a decrease in the number of people who engage in this traditional way of fishing. Currently, there are only eight households that are still in the business. ま、仕事をしてて、ずっと続いている伝統的な漁法なのでそういう伝統を守り続けれるような漁師になりたいなと思っています最大化していくと言いますか、いろんな海の恵みをずっと長いことをたくさんいただくような海を作っていくというですね。もう少しその海の幸をですね、長期的に利用し続ける、あるいはリクリエーションですとか、そういった人間のその楽しみですとか、生
だんだん利用されなくなってきた漁具です、まあ、海を利用してきた思い出をいろいろ聞き取りをする中でインカチの思い出が非常に楽しかったっていう方が多かったのでではそれを復元をしてまた今現在の子どもたちもあるいは現在の大人の人も含めてですね海と関わる場所として利用すれば海を守っていくようなそういう活動につながるのかなと思って復元をしております。まあ、そういうふうにみんなで守りながらねあ漁してきてからみんなでまた楽しいやろうという稽古のもとにこう柿を作ったんだけどみんなあんたなんか財産だよこれ、はい、みんなの財産。Inkachi is not only a useful fishing method, the crevices along the stone wall also offer spaces in which various creatures can live. And since fish gather to eat the seaweed that grows on the stones, it also helps enrich biodiversity in the surrounding waters. On March 3rd of the old lunar calendar, a ceremony called Hamaori or Sanizu takes place. It originally began as a traditional ritual for girls to purify their bodies with seawater. But even today, people of the village gather together to enjoy a feast prepared with the fish caught in the Inkachi. <laughs> For a long time, the people of Shiraho have used their local sea with care and lived in harmony with it. Hey, so we have a nice morning in the Nicho Ishi Live. We have a nice morning in the Nicho Ishi Live. Twice a month, the Shiraho Coral Village holds a Sunday market where they sell local agricultural produce and traditional goods. This folk song is called Yuratiku, a word from the village's language that means let's gather together or come and visit. In Shiraho, it's common for residents who aren't commercial fishers to get seaweed and catch fish from the sea. The village of Shiraho looks out over a coral reef that spans 12 kilometers. The shallow water on the inner side of the coral reef is called Ino. This is considered a common area where resources are shared by the local residents. The locals live a life divided between fishing and agriculture. However, there are some Shiraho residents who fish full time. These professionals are called uminchu and they go offshore to fish. Mr. Shinzato has been doing a kind of spear fishing called Dento Moguri for nearly 55 years, in which he hunts for fish at night time using a lamp. して浜から歩いていても上の方をしょっちゅう照らしてみたり穴にしてね歩いてもう現場に着いて一歩水に足入れるともう全然怖いのないもうこれからも何度も怖さないもう自分の頭の中にはこっちから泳いだらどこのポ
風、また潮、波、そういったのをみんなあの勉強しないと、海のものを取るだけでは上手になれないよと。自分もそうだけど海はもう漁師からすると一つの自分の財産さ、ね、だから僕はね自分に言い聞かせてるのは海は自分の財産であるけどまた一歩自分が海やめたら何者でもないとみんなのものになるとしかし自分が県在で頑張られてる時はどこ行ってもこっちの海は自分の財産あっちに行ってもあっちの海は自分の財産と。そういったふうに誇りを持ってね僕は仕事してるつもりではあるさ。Mr. Uchihara is a fisherman who uses a surrounding net. He's waiting for the moment when the water over the reef reaches the same level as the body length of the fish. At that moment, the tips of the tails of the fish feeding on seaweed can be seen flicking in and out of the water. Mr. Uchihara walks over to that point hauling the net. And as he does so, he sends signals to his partner. He walks around to the outer side of the reef and spreads the net to bring in the fish that try to escape to the outer waters. The people of the people of the people of the people of the 守っていくっていうことが一番大切だと思っております。白穂のおじいおばあと話をしてたり、え暮らしを見てると、暮らしの中で様々に海の恵みをですね、えー、利用してきた本当に暮らしと関わりの深い海だなっていうことを感じています。生態系サービスを本当に存分に取り入れた、えー、暮らしが白穂にはあるのかなと。あのまあ、白穂の皆さんはそれをサンゴ礁文化っていうふうにおっしゃってますけども、サンゴ礁文化の、えー、暮らしが息づく、えー、海と。集落の関わりがあるところだなというふうに感じていますサンゴが科学的に生物学的に重要であるとかそういったメッセージも伝えるんですがやはり地域で受け継がれてきたその伝統的な暮らしの中で培われた海との関わりですとか海の利用する知恵っていうことをうまく受け継いでもらう中でいつまでもその海と暮らしがですね共に豊かであるそういったことが我々が目指しているところですので地域の皆さんと一緒に取り組んでいるところです。Our journey to visit six Satomi locations around Japan from Hokkaido to Okinawa is about to come to an end. The coastline of Japan is approximately 35,000 kilometers long and is the sixth longest in the world. 
Despite the comparatively small land area, from north to south, the archipelago is long and is surrounded by the sea in all four directions. The sea offers its riches to the people who lead their lives there, and in return, they offer ideas to keep its resources from being depleted. The many seagrass beds and tidal flats that grace coastal Japan provide the spawning grounds for fish. They also clean the water and perform many other functions vital to sustaining life. However, these coastal areas have become increasingly weakened because of developmental landfills and water pollution. Seas that used to be so close to many people have become something distant and unfamiliar. Professor Matsuda, the guide for our journey to visit Satomi, told us of the current state of Satomi in Japan and about their future. え、人間活動とか、そういう開発とか、そういうものでも身近な海がえ、これからますますその環境破壊やですね、開発が起きるような地域も懸念されるというわけですよね。そうしますと、サトミとの国際的にもかなりこの広くえ、なんて言うんですかね、あの、一緒に考えたり、それを利用してもらったりできる、そういう可